Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another workout video. You guys seem to really enjoy my top five glute activation workout video that I did. And this is going to be a continuation with more glute stuff. Although I just, like, before we get into this, I realized I left my tripod at home. So I'm gonna have to, like, put my camera on top of boxes and stuff because I'm a genius, like, Anyway, today's video is going to be five of my favorite glute workouts, not just glute activation. Today, we're going to get heavy. We are going to work out with actual gym equipment. This one is not so much of something you can do at home, so this is for the people who do have a gym membership and access to a gym. I'm trying to think. I guess you could do, like, modified versions of these workouts probably most of them, some of them. I thought, what better day to post five of my favorite glute workouts than on my birthday, like a birthday cake workout. So if you're watching this on the day that I post it, which is October 24th, then today's my birthday. It's really like three hours into my birthday right now. I'm gonna end up at the gym at midnight and I'm gonna turn 24 at the gym. You know, there's no better place to have your birthday than at the gym. <laughs> before I started lifting, before I started working out, doing anything, I had a pancake butt. I got my dad's side of the family body type, which is just like broad shoulders and like no butt. Like I'm sort of like hourglass shaped, but like if I never worked out, I would have a pancake butt. I had a pancake butt. I had no butt whatsoever. And then I started working out and these moves have made it so that I actually have a butt now. It's like impressive. I took a little bit of the BPI Sports One More Rep Vortex, I believe it's called, the pre-workout, because I am so dead. If you guys didn't see my last vlog, we did get a puppy a few days ago, and I don't even know how people have children because having a fur baby in the house is utterly exhausting, and I'm not even the one waking up at 6.30 in the morning when she wakes up and wants to play, but she is just so draining, and I babysat her for most of today, and I'm... I'm pooped. Before we get into this workout, I want you guys to go do the glute activation workout that I posted. I'll have it linked in the description box as well as it'll pop up. I, I need to like know which corner it pops up in, but go do those, get your glutes all fired up and ready to go into this glute workout. We really want them fired up. We really want these moves to be focusing on our glutes and not our quads. And if you don't do some glute activation, your quads might try to take over for some of these moves and we really want to focus on getting the peach to do the peach thing, so. The first move we're going to be doing today are sumo squats. Now this is a normal stance for a squat, so you're gonna bring your feet out wider than shoulder width apart, and you're gonna have them at like a 45 degree angle pointing outwards, just like so. And then you're just going to squat. I've realized that I can't go as low with a sumo squat as a regular squat with heavier weight, so if I was using a slightly less weight, I would be going lower, but that's fine. Go as low as you can, don't go too heavy, and really squeeze at the top with your glutes. Make sure that your butt looks ugly at the top. Like, squeeze as hard as you can, go as low as you can, and squeeze at the top. Really focus on activating your glutes instead of your quads. Repeat the sumo squats for four sets of 10 to 15, and then we are on to the next exercise. If you guys watch any fitness influencers on YouTube or Instagram, I'm sure you have seen these. These are going to be some cable kickbacks. So you're going to get a cable and one of those handles, pin it to something that you can move with just one foot. I like to pin the cable a notch or two higher than the bottom, and then you just hook the handle around your foot like so, right around the middle and take a step back. Make sure that your body, like your torso, is parallel to the ground. I know it's not as like Instagram worthy where like your back is super arched, but this way you can really focus more on the glute. I am keeping the leg that is staying on the ground slightly bent and as I am kicking back I am focusing as if I'm like sliding something behind me and then I'm trying to like push the ceiling up as I reach about 45 degrees and I'm really trying to focus entirely on using my butt for this movement and really trying to not rely on any other part of my leg. There is a little bit of quad and hamstring and calf all involved. And also you guys can see here, my brother came in to the gym and I thought he was somebody else who happened to also be wearing red and was using the stairs as like cardio. So I'm like ignoring this red blob in my peripheral vision and I'm like, oh no, there's some person here, but it was really my brother and he was just waiting for me to realize that he was there. 
and here I am still kicking away and just I do this for four sets of 15 to 20 on each side. You do not have to go too heavy on this. You really want to focus on that mind to muscle connection. So if you can only do like the five pounds, 10 pounds, that's fine. I have upped myself to 20 pounds at this point and I really feel it in my glutes the next day for sure. So now we're going to stay on the cable and we are going to switch to the rope. And this I go heavy for. Now, you do not need to go heavy on this. You really want to focus on feeling the squeeze in your butt. And this is one of the most awkward things you can do at the gym. I usually only do this when the gym is pretty empty and there's no one around because it's just, I mean, you, you guys can tell why. This is a little bit of a weird one. But if you've got it in you to, like, just hump away at the air while there's a full gym at, like, the 5 o'clock rush, by all means, you do you, girl. So this is the glute cable pull-through and you just take a few steps away from the cable machine and pull through and really squeeze your butt at the top. Again, ugly butt. Here's my brother being like, really, you're filming this for YouTube? And I'm like, yes, I gotta teach these people how to make the booty gains. This is the sacrifice that I make. I'm gonna hump the air on the internet and you guys are going to watch and you're gonna learn how to grow your booty because of this move. You will thank me for this later, seriously. For pull-throughs, I aim for four sets of 20 to sometimes even 30 if I'm not burnt out yet. And I was using a little bit too heavy of a weight and I pinched my finger and don't be me, don't hurt yourself at the gym, guys. So up next, we're doing another booty burner, Bulgarian split squats on the Smith machine. I've got 25 pound plates on each side. I've got a bench behind me. You can use a box. You can also just keep your foot on the ground if this is too hard for you. But on this move, you are really focusing on the front leg being the one that you are pushing through the glutes of. You can also try to squeeze the raised leg glute when you are at the top of the movement. Even I will admit that I am still working on getting my quads to not take over this movement and really focusing on my glutes being the thing that are pushing me off of the ground. You really got to push through your heel Make sure that your foot is a little bit in front of you so that when you're bent at 90 degrees, your knee is not going over the toes. And you are going to repeat this move for four sets of 15 to 20 on each side. But now we are on to my favorite, favorite booty move. We're staying on the Smith machine. We're moving away the safeties. We're putting on something squishy onto the bar. You can use anything soft if you don't have one of these. What are these even called? Those guards? My holy grail booty move, glute hip thrusts. And these are my favorite way to end a leg day. Again, you want to be focusing on that ugly butt squeeze at the top. You really want to push through your heels up into the sky. You want your feet to be in the same stance as a sumo squat, kind of wide, 45 degrees out, really isolating the glutes. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. Let me know in the comment section down below if you prefer a voiceover or just music playing over my workouts. I don't know why I wore a sweater. I know it sounds windy and cold outside. Ow. But it is actually like 70 degrees right now. And in about 20 minutes, it's my birthday. And normally, I'm in a leather jacket on my birthday, so I don't understand this October whatsoever. So I decided to not turn 24 at the gym, but I am going to probably be sweaty and gross because I just finished at the gym. I hope you guys enjoyed this birthday cake booty workout because my glutes are so sore right now. If you guys are enjoying the fitness related content, make sure that you leave a nice big thumbs up for me. Let me know in the comment section down below that you're enjoying these videos. And of course, if you're not already following me across all of my social media platforms, what are you doing with your life? I post so much fitness related content on my Instagram. I'm like still sweating from the gym. Like that workout was hard. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday and Saturday and lately, I've been testing out doing three videos a week, so I've been adding Thursdays into the mix. So every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, that's three days a week that I'm posting videos for you guys. And I never say this, but you guys can hit the little bell and get notified when I post my videos, but it's at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.